there is never two that are like looking directly into each other no. so you always have a new view whenever you turn around a building yeah. which is what we wanted the dynamic of the city yeah. and then the water coming in between and meeting this this dense structure my name is Elena Rojas and uh, I work at uh, Tinestuen Vennkunsten my name is Emma Hansen and I work at Tinestuen Vennkunsten we're standing in the middle of our residential area, which is nine blocks placed in the middle of Oslo. Yes, it's actually an, a housing area in the uh, transition from city to uh, fjord or to the ocean. We worked really hard to integrate the nature versus the, the city. We're also trying to pull the water all the way in between the buildings. Yeah, our main idea is to get the people of Oslo to actually put their feet in the water. Before, when we started up the competition for this area, there was a highway here. In all of Europe, you have these areas close to the city, close to the water, where you had a lot of infrastructure. And clever enough, the municipality of Oslo wanted a residential area here, but there was nothing here when we started, which was crazy. And then I started standing here on the highway, looking down to the, this beautiful landscape on the other side. And then the whole team at Van Kunsten was like, we were all sitting and thinking. We had this unique opportunity to do something special. And for us, the most important thing was that this should be an area that was not typical blocks. We wanted something totally different. And that's why we made these nine housing houses that was a small, a medium and a large that was very dynamic. So everybody in the residential area could have a view to the water and as well unique views back to the city. And as well, a great thing was that we wanted it to have uh, streets with waters like in Venice. And this is what we got <laughs> to be little Venice up here in the, the cold north. Mm. And now it's amazing seeing how the ice is breaking in between the buildings and all the dynamic in between the house. Because it's actually a very completely straight plants in four different sizes, completely square. Yeah. It's just the dynamic is between the buildings because you twist and turn the buildings, yeah. you get the dynamic spaces that we see down here. And still as it's very dense, this housing area, and also, I mean, as tall as uh, eight stories, mm -hmm. the biggest buildings. And still you can get quite dynamic looks between them and the spaces in between the buildings. It's, it's tight and small, but it's still, very lively and, yeah, and we never have two parallel. facades yeah. like that's parallel which is a difficult thing when you have a very dense area because yeah. it's it's more common that you have like this the streets and you put them Gonna, yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of each other there is never two that are like looking directly into each other no. so you always have a new view whenever you turn around a building yeah. which is what we wanted the dynamic yeah. of the city yeah. And then the water coming in between and meeting this, this dense structure. 